Hello, um, in the video today, we're going to discuss your CTrader account ID and your CTrader account information. Now, once you sign up with CTrader, you'll be given a unique ID. And with this ID and CTrader cloud information, you can connect to multiple brokers, but you'll always use the same settings. Now, this is the CTrader help uh, page here. If I scroll down, um, this page here allows you to change your credentials, notifications, active sessions, trading accounts, cloud charts, and open API. So you can also change your CTrader uh, username. Now to access this information, which is your CTrader core, core information on the cloud, um, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of doing it. So I'm gonna open up CTrader, which is here. So this is the CTrader trading platform, straight looking at with the chart on, as a trade on. So the best way to do it is to go to the bottom left and you've got a button called settings. Click on this and it opens up the settings window where you've got your trade account properties, okay? I'm now gonna go to email alerts. Now this is a shortcut to actually get you to those um, to this page that I'm going to show you. You can also just type it in the URL, but this is a shortcut way of doing it. Now, if I click on configure, this is going to open up a um, CTrader window, which is your window, your account information. Now, because it's got notifications, I'll do this first. So this allows you to change any notifications coming from your account. Every time there's a deposit, withdrawal, margin call, threshold, pending order field, price alert, stop order field, it will actually send you an email or you can have a push notification on your desktop. So when you get a margin call or a, or a position close and an email comes through and you're wondering where that comes from, this is where it comes from. So if you wanted to turn off um, a stop loss order fill, you just uncheck these boxes, both from diet live and demo. Um, if you want to turn off every time a profit order is filled, again, you just uncheck it. It means it just won't send you an email when this happens. You've also got email notifications for CTrader copy, for the investor, for the mirror strategy provider and the investor down there. And again, if you would, all of these margin call thresholds, you can turn on or off, okay? And again, if you're um, push notifications. So that's just your email notifications uh, for your account every time anything happens. Now this would be for all brokers. So if you can fit, turn this off here, so any broker you use, it will stop sending email notifications. So while we're on this page, I'm now gonna go to the overview. Now this is the overview that I showed you at the start, and this allows you to change your um, CTrader ID name. So if you're using CTDN, and you wanna change your name that's being displayed on CTDN. What I'm saying, CTDN is now called spotware.com. So that's the CTrader forum group where you're posted on the forums. You can actually change the display name just by changing that, okay? You can also change your email address and also update your password from here. Okay, that's on overview. On credentials, oops, that's the overview, sorry. Go back to here. Notifications is what we just saw. So I'll go back there. These are the notifications. I'll go back to overview. Active sessions. Now you can revoke any active sessions that are going on here just by clicking on here, okay? And go back to overview. And you've got trading accounts. So if I click new, these are all my trading accounts. Now you can easily um, download, say for FX Pro, you can click on this icon here and it will download the um, desktop version for FX Pro. So you can install the platform on your desktop. If you click on here, it'll actually open up the web version for FX Pro, for CTrader, sorry. If you click on here, it'll download the Android version. If you click on the Apple, it'll install the Apple version. So you can download your broker's products from this page without having to go into your, the broker's website, log in and go through those details. Um, I'll go back to overview again. Open API. Again, this will allow you to configure Connect API if you want to do this um, bit of programming. Um, cloud charts, that's coming soon. That's a great way of sharing chart ideas. They're going to put that on later. Okay, that's just for overview. Now I'm going to go to notifications again. And I have actually just covered this already. So I want to say one last thing. It's down here at the bottom. It says preferred notification language. Now you can change this to any language you want, but when you sign up with CTrader, it'll probably put the correct language in there. Now I'm going to close this window, go back to CTrader, and just show you that you can also um, adjust your email alerts from this panel here. You don't have to, you can also go into the other one. You still have to uncheck these, these two here. You can also untick them here if you don't want to receive them. Click apply actually apply it so these information don't come in. That's all I wanted to show you, just how to access that information. I'm sure some developer, uh, some, some uh, traders weren't aware of that. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for your time. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.